Hi guys, uh, as part of the uh, A-level course, you need to do a little bit of uh, electronics uh, and mostly looking at something called an op-amp. Okay, and then if you've never actually seen one in the flesh, that is actually uh, a little op-amp there in the, the middle, the, the chip there. Now, uh, this all might look rather complicated, uh, but I've tried to make a little simplified diagram here of what's going on. So I've got my op-amp here. It actually happens to be an NE5532P. So if you want to go on eBay or whatever and then try and build this yourself, you, you can. Now what's unusual with an op-amp is the fact that it actually needs two batteries. One at plus nine volts, the other at minus nine volts. So if you see, I've got uh, two batteries here. Although looking at the data sheet, uh, this thing can actually use up to uh, plus minus uh, 22 volts so you can actually have 44 volts across it although I think that's probably uh, pushing it a little bit okay now I've got two potentiometers here okay uh, if we go back to the diagram my two pots they have got uh, positive 9 volts at the top and earth on the bottom so as I adjust my potentiometer here okay I can choose any voltage uh, from zero or ground to nine volts and that's the same with potentially on to number two i can go from nine volts to zero depending on what i put there now, what i've done here is i've put my uh, outputs from the pots uh, go to my uh, inverting and non-inverting input on the uh, op amp so this is in its uh, comparator state so basically uh, with a comparator it's Whichever voltage is the highest out of these two inputs wins. Okay, and then what does that mean by winning? Okay, well, if, let's say, the negative input has a higher voltage than the uh, positive input, then this will be thrown down to minus 9 volts. If the positive input has a greater voltage than the negative input, then it will go positive. Now, what I've got here, I've got a resistor. That's just to project these two LEDs. Now, if this goes negative here, the output goes negative, current will be drawn this way, and my green LED will turn on. If the output becomes positive, uh, this uh, output will... Sorry, if the output becomes positive, okay, so that means the uh, positive input is dominating over the negative, then current will flow in this direction, and my red light will turn on. Okay, so basically it just depends what's going on here, okay, so whichever has the highest voltage, okay, the op amp becomes super saturated, uh, and then the output will flip between positive and negative 9 volts. So at the moment, uh, because the green light is on, I actually know that this is negative, so that means that the uh, uh, negative input has a greater voltage than the positive. So let's change that, so if I adjust this, Okay, now uh, my positive input has a greater voltage. So it could be maybe this is 5 volts and now this is 4 volts. Okay, and now if I change this again, okay, so maybe I can swing this up that way. Okay, now my green's turned on. That means the negative terminal, so this might be 6 volts and this might be 5 volts. So this has got a greater voltage, so therefore it will flip to the, the negative. Okay, guys, I hope that's uh, making some kind of sense. I'm just going to play around with this for a bit. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, let's go to Red. Bye for now.